Hi there, Connie here. This is about the wrong way of linking files from SharePoint sites into Teams. So I've been seeing this with some of my clients lately and uh, I just wanted to make sure we clear the air here in terms of what is best practice um, so that people are not confused and people are not uh, getting frustrated with how to find things in Teams. Finding your files in Teams should be a simple process. If it's not, maybe there's some mistakes being made behind the scenes in connecting them. So I'm going to introduce you to the SharePoint and uh, Teams link here. So what you have in front of you here is right now I'm in the work remotely team and in the general channel and there's something called home here and it's called home here because I actually at I actually linked a SharePoint site to this channel. And so it's easy to do. And in fact, it changed my tab name to the name of, of the page on that SharePoint site, which happened to be the home page of the SharePoint site. So this has its place, but this should not be the only place people have to go to find their documents because it could be very busy. It could be very hard to see them. The documents are way over here and now I have to go to them. And plus uh, doing it this way means I don't have all the functionality of, of file management within my teams that Microsoft Teams gives me because what has happened is someone has said, I'll just put the SharePoint site in Teams and let you manage files that way. But that doesn't work, right? You don't get the same flexibility. There can be a place for this, don't get me wrong, but this should not be the only place for your files. Right, so I'm gonna just compare this for a second. So let's say someone did it this way, and this is the setup that you have. Maybe it wasn't you, maybe it was somebody else that set this up. Um, so when you go to files and the three dots, which is your menu, and you click on it, you've got quite a few options in this view but you don't have the ability to move things around right you can copy the link can't copy the file you can copy the link of the file so people can access it you can certainly share the file open it delete it now that might depend on your permission level for that site so not everyone's going to have that same ability rename it so some of these again might not be here depending on the permission level um, that's been given to you as part of this site so there, there is a certain amount of things and you have something called checkout. Checkout is really a SharePoint thing. So this is the menu within the SharePoint site for the files. Now let's go to files within Teams and look at how the menu differs. So if I go to files here and I have a file sitting here waiting for us to look at and the menu is the three dots again. Notice these ones are horizontal, not vertical like SharePoint does. And so if I hit those three dots, very similar but now I have an option for copy and I have an option, option for move. So a few, a couple of more options that are available to me, um, but otherwise pretty much the same, right? So that's one scenario. Now, the, the thing about why I suggest uh, that you shouldn't have someone set up your Teams and SharePoint by just connecting to SharePoint is that it, the SharePoint is, can be really huge in terms of how you manage your files and lay it all out. And you might have to go through lots of layers, lots of, you know, folders and subfolders and so on. And so you're losing the ability that Teams give you, gives you to organize all those layers. So when someone opens up Teams, they shouldn't have to, first of all, figure out, okay, where am I going at the top here to find my files? They should go to the left side and see, oh, there's a team for this group, this team for that group, a team for that group. Okay, so the team name should mean something to them based on your organization. And then within the team names, if they go into that particular team, they should again have more insights as to, oh, I need to go to the budget channel. It should be kind of obvious where they have to go, right? And so it's very visible on this left side for them to go there. So let's just say uh, I was, we were looking at uh, training and we wanted to find some files that someone said they saved in that channel. So it's pretty easy to get to the files. A very clean, clear, crisp view here. So another scenario I wanna show you is another way people can bring in a SharePoint site uh, connected to your Teams. And 
it has its it has its advantages, but it shouldn't again be the only way you connect files into your Teams because you're losing all that file navigation flexibility and and some of the extra uh, items that are available on the files menu. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I go here, I, I did another example for you of just connecting the SharePoint documents area. So just to just to kind of show you again what I mean by that, if I go over here to home, this is a SharePoint site. This is really the home page of a SharePoint site, but it could be any page of a SharePoint site. Documents is way over in the corner over here on this site. And if I go to this one, this is just documents. So it's kind of it's the same thing, but now it's focused on one screen. So that's a little bit easier to read, right? The only thing is, and, and I of course have a very small sample here, most sites will be very full of lots of folders and subfolders and so on. So it might be harder to navigate around. But let's go to that menu again. So if I go to that menu, look at my choices here. So when we click on that SharePoint um, connection, we have very few options here. We can't, we can copy the link. Well, I can delete, but again, you probably most likely wouldn't be able to delete based on your permissions. But you basically can just copy the link so this method is not a great method of connecting to files. Plus, it's very clumsy for navigating if this is the only place people can go find their files. So please, please um, look at how your setup is done. Don't blame it on Teams. It might You might have to blame it on who set this up. Um, they're not doing it the right way. So let's go to Files again, it's just so I can show you. The menu there, lots of choices, right? So if you're confused and you're reading stuff, you're Googling, you're watching this video maybe, you're watching other ones that I've done about Teams, and you're saying to yourself, how come I can't do what she's doing? Maybe your setup is wrong, right? Uh, so the setup that you need to focus on is you need to look at how do I organize my different teams because my different teams will let me have different SharePoint sites. I don't have to have these extra tabs at the top that link to a SharePoint site. There is there is a place for it, but it shouldn't be the only place. All right, so that's my quick little lesson for you today. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know in your comments what you guys are doing. And if you need some help, um, please uh, check out my other videos or uh, subscribe to, uh, I have a little uh, free download in, this under, in the comments as well that you can get for yourself so you can learn more about Teams. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.